in Machinery Minute, U.S. exports of ag-related machinery total nearly $9 billion in 2010. Now, the Association of Equipment Manufacturers says that's a gain of more than 12% from 2009. AEM says this increase in exports is encouraging after 2009 declines of more than 20%. South and Central America recorded the strongest gains. Farm equipment exports to South America grew 59% with purchases totaling $970 million. Canada remains the top country buying U.S. made farm machinery at more than $3 billion. As far as domestic sales, if you want to buy a new combine or cotton picker, chances are you're going to wait a very long time. Gone are the days when you could drive to your favorite equipment dealer and select the machine. At the National Farm Machinery Show, I talked with one of the vice presidents of marketing for Agco about the change in the sales model. Um, it's good for the industry. It's good for the industry in the fact that there's less working capital tied up and a lot of inventory sitting around at dealerships. Um, it's also good for the farmer. It really allows him to customize his order a little bit more by pre-ordering the machine and telling the, the dealership exactly what he wants. He's able to get that tractor built to exactly the specification that he's looking for. Uh, does it make it, do you think the farmers are doing better now? Well, there's no doubt about it. Farmers are doing better now. Um, so, the, so the good side of farmers doing better is they're buying more equipment. The bad side of that is they're buying more equipment. And, and, that, and what I mean by that is that lead times are increasing, um, supply is tightening. Griffin told me customers are having to make a commitment much earlier than in the past. Otherwise, they risk someone else moving ahead of them in line, so to speak.